so hello guys welcome to my channel so today is another part which is very important in this part i'm going to talk about briefly about query sets and how you can query product and use filter method get by id and order by is price all of those features that you want from a database and want to query all of this information that's order by is filter by is ordering by price and when filter by different kind of its attribute like or filter by its price and is published is equals to true just show me all the uh, product that is published okay from the database admin panel so all the thing that you want from this you, you should know about query string and you should know about the query sets in Django so let's see this it is a very fun thing so for that this is our show product page where I showed all the product okay now we'll show only the product which is published okay so let's see this so for that views.py file and uh, let's go to show all products so in show all products we're gonna show all the products which are like product objects dot filter will filter is published is equals to true we want to see all the products and which is filtered this is a very important method okay when you have to use the query set where you want the information from the database of product table and the information of the product which is attribute is published is equals to true it means that the product that are attribute have is published is equals to true we want to see all the products okay filtered by is published is equals to true so we don't want to see any product which is not published we want to see every product which is published so that's why you write filter using its is, is published attribute which is uh, this model is published which is a boolean field keep in mind that so that's why it is true or false so now if we save this when you uh, refresh this page as you can see we see only five products because one of the product is not published okay so when you see that uh, we want to see which are not published we want to see all the products which are not published okay now only one product which is not published so we see only asus gaming laptop of 999.25 dollar this is the only product that is not published okay so that's why or show all the product method is uh, facing only one product which is not published so let's keep it uh, true and it will show us all the information all the product information which are published so today there are total six product but now only one product is unpublished so that's why we see only five products so we can also do like uh, filtered by order by we can do order by is price and price is also another field like if you go to the model.py file it is a price is another attribute or the field in the database table of that product price is also an attribute of the product table of the product information so when you order it by the products price okay it will go to the list to highest price and it will give all the information from the list price to highest price and the which is published is equals to true so filtered by its attribute published is equals to true we want to see all the information which is published and order by its price from least to highest so if save it and when you go there and see first we see the list product right? the gtx nvidia graphics card which is 300 dollars is the lowest and then we have 500 dollars 800 dollars then we have the iphone 10 which is on the first index has gone to the last index which is 99.99 dollar .99. so keep in mind that this is super important this is ordered by is price to list to highest so if we go to the dash sign uh, price then if it will go to the for any attribute if you use dash its attribute name it will go to the reverse order it will go to the highest price to the lowest price if you save it now you can see it, it will go to the highest price to lowest price so that is the main query that you want to learn then we have uh, like objects dot first we want the first product only okay we don't want all the product we want only one product from the database which is the first product that i uploaded so let's write it like this way so delete all those thing delete this thing this thing and these things okay save it and use the tier file save it we will see on the first product 
say we took first product okay so i keep it only product because i'm showing only one product and it will go to the contact dictionary of show product uh, html file and it will show only one product so save it products name price created at and its image url so if you save it and refresh it as you can see we see only one product so you need to modify some code if you want to see only one product but i'm not going to do that if you do it for the last product it will show us the last product this is the last product that i uploaded okay so this is very simple but i'm not going to do that just reverse it now it keep it products and filtered by its price okay save it and in show products dot page just add all the things as before because it is an iterable now you will loop over all the products in products okay and its price name will show everything here so if we save it now now i will see all the products which is ordered by its price okay lowest to highest get the product by its id like here when we want to go to the product detail page we see the product uh, we get the product by its id only and we select the context of each product and when we return it it will go to the product detail page and send us this context each product when we go to the product detail page it will show uh, each product as you can see each product dot image dot url each products dot name price description and is created at and all those patterns okay so this is for each product by its id we can also get each product okay by its name like we can write <coughs> product is equals to <coughs> product dot objects dot get price is equals to 99.99 okay so we can get only product which is at this price okay so i'm not going to do that but i'll show you how to do this but it is better to get the product by its id maximum time or you can use filter okay you can use filter which is price is equals to 999.99 when you use that we want to filter the product price which is 999.99 okay and ordered by its price as you can see we can see the product which have a price of 99.99 so that is the main thing that you can use but i'm showing is published is equals to true or we can filter by or you can order by created at okay dash created at it will upload all the it will show all the products from the database in our template which is uploaded at the latest time with the current time okay so it is ordered by is created at so if we save it see this is the created last and this one and this post this apple iphone and this is posted first in the february 20th but today i added it february 28 so that's why it's on the latest post so that's why you ordered it by created at okay so it is going to the latest post but i'm not going to do that i'm going to use by dash price highest price to lowest price when you do that as you can see it's go to highest price to lowest price it can also show us the number of products suppose number of products in the database product dot objects dot all dot count product dot objects dot all dot count Okay, if we print it is number of products then as you can see as you can see we have six product number of product let's give it number of products if we click on this as you can see we have the number of products which is six in the database so we can count all the thing that we need documentation and you search for query sets 
as you can see query set api reference and here you will see all the things like entry dot object dot all which returns all the objects and all the things that you want to use you can see it as you can see the number of entries you have a count method you can count the country and you can order by object dot order by is blog underscore underscore name blog id okay just like i ordered by is price you can order by it by its different kind of attribute all of those things just uh, just make sure that you research all of those in this django documentation to learn more about it when you want to see the information like this way objects dot all where you get all the products and which is i want to see the colon three it means that i want to see the last three product from the product database okay product dot object dot all and we want to see only the last three items okay if we save it as you can see with the, we can see the three items if we see that last two items that we can colon two it will show only two products okay if we uh, write one up to four it will also show three products as you can see so it's, it's really intuitive then what do you have to see so that's all the thing that i want to show you in the django query sets and how you render all the information from the database to the view functions and then filter it order by its own choices and count it if you want and send it to your a contest dictionary and send it to your html pages and show information based on that view function that you wrote here on the query you wrote here because view function actually send, takes all the information from the database uh, and the model and send back to your html pages that's why it is mvt pattern remember that so thanks for watching i'll be coming on to the next video which i'm going to show you how to do pagination so thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video